this is uh, Winter at the Dunes, track for finding Sasquatch. Um, one deep wood knock from further in the woods, halfway in. Uh, branch breaking or thrashing or, uh, from north, I guess northeast. Uh, I just filmed the clip. I just uh, cast a print and a half. Uh, one print had a really nice toe and like a, a claw at the top. And um, the other one just, I just cast it a little bit extra material. I wanted to just see if there were actual toes. Um, big long like uh, 23 to stride, 23 inch stride, 20 inch stride, 23 inch stride. Um, or like a three foot stride depending on what was the sequence of prints there. Um, I'm going to go investigate what's going on over here, uh, the, the wood knocking or whatever. But anyway, uh, winter at the dunes. Okay, I found some interesting uh, older tracks. They're too wide for people and they're irregular at the top. So definitely not boots. Sometime during the last uh, melt off and then and then snowed and filled them in. But uh, I'll just give you a general idea. Uh, it might be this one might be a double step. I guess there's a chance it could be a bear. Uh, definitely see like a toe there. Like a claw maybe and like these ones. Let's just uh, take an overall measurement here. This, they're, uh... Wow. 19, 20 inches. Or if it's uh, a double step, then obviously about 10 inches each. Nine, nine inches, but they're about, they're seven inches wide. Nobody has feet that wide, even with boots on. So, uh, take a couple pictures here. These ones definitely show some toes or something going on. Uh, uh, got some wood knock branch breaking coming from that way. Wood knock back that way. Some interesting, uh, I mean, I destroyed those ones, but uh, print, interesting print. Chance there's a bear, but worst case scenario is I got a casting of a bear print. Pretty big, but I mean, that's over expanded uh, casting. Uh, I want to make sure I got any detail. Um, made that mistake before, not taking a closer look. Been in a rush, you know, hey, get all excited, and then you miss part of the big toe or something. Anyway, um, 19 inch stride, they're there, 23 inch stride, uh, they could be double step and bear, as I said, um, 23 inch stride, heel to toe there, unless it went all the way up there, uh, I just, with this one up here, I just cast the top, where they looked like there was toe marks and, and like little, little claw marks. Um, kind of irregular. This one here had like, I guess I'll just go use my hand, had like a projected toe. Like they weren't all like 
even like a bear, you know, like the big one and all the rounded one like that. This one, the toe was like sticking above the rest, like kind of like my thumb. And then it had like a tiny little like claw mark in it, a uh, nail mark or something. So again, these are uh, 11 inches. That one, I don't know about that one. That one looks like maybe these are all the same. That one, maybe a double step in one, but there's a big one here, but there's no detail in that. I mean, there's a chance that that could be, some of these, a couple of these could be just boots, but this one definitely had a big toe in it. So uh, I don't usually get a lot of practice casting in the winter. The, the cold makes the uh, material pull, like uh, you're trying to get it into the crevices and if you play around with it too much, it pulls. But uh, good practice for spring, uh, all the prints that sometimes you find in the spring. Um, I'm going to snoop around now. I'm going to go uh, look, see what's going on with uh, whatever was uh, breaking branches or knocking over there. I'll just let this sit for a while. Hopefully I don't get disturbed by uh, quarters like I did before in here and I had to hide. <laughs> I had to hide and evade them. And I did a little clip where I was by like a, uh, kind of like a, a shelter structure. Uh, a bunch of trees interwound with a, uh, like four white birch and uh, I had to hide with the squatch and, and, and sneak out through the bush because hunters, you know, with guns and maybe they got a, some beers into them. You don't want to run into those guys. I don't know if they own the own the property or not. They just probably in here using it just like me, crown land, but uh, someone leases it for gravel. But uh, a lot of people think that try to pretend like they're squatters rights on crown land. So I don't need that headache. I just buggered off and uh, I did a little clip about that. But anyway, um, some good possibilities, especially with this one. And now I'll go investigate. Uh, well, these are drying, curing. I'll go investigate what was going on with the knocking over there. Wood knocking, thrashing of branches. Right up there, I heard, just as I was turning the camera on, well, I was going to talk about uh, casting a couple possible prints uh, for the south of the dunes. Zoom probably. Those some juvies in here watching me, ducking and diving behind the uh, ground cover. give you much when there's not a lot of cover. A little bit more bolder when there's foliage on the branches. A little look between branches and stuff, but you can sometimes see their outlines. Okay, I'll shut down until they get active. Right, so here's a stick structure I came across. Um, actually, it's on the other side. Um, when I had to hide from the guys on the quads. Um... It looks like there's a little juvie peak in the upper left there. I'll just throw that in. But anyway, back to the prints. Um, there seemed to be a bit of a mid-tarsal break on the on some of them. And uh, the usually what a bear print looks like in the winter. And they're definitely not bare. Bear toes are all in a row. And there's no elongated toe like in that weird one. So uh, that brings the question up with this toe and this weird print. was, Is that an opposed toe on the right? Um... Is it a cripple foot? Um, the only reason I cast it was because of the, the weird shape. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. And here's what gorilla feet look like and what a human foot looks like. And here's the cripple print. And you see how it has that weird bump or extra toe on the left there. 
So, I don't know, I, I, I wanted to have it, and even though it was an old print in the sand, which doesn't leave a lot of detail unless it's really fresh, I cast it because you don't come across weird prints like this very often. And, and um, the, the reason um, I bring it up, uh, opposable toe, or it's called hallux, is uh, that that's what gorillas have, is in the last still, and it helps support their weight. And um, there's a picture of the bush where thrashing was coming from. And I can see them in there. You might not be able to, but right in the center there, there's a, I don't know, big juvie looking at me. And they're doing their tricks. But I just wanted to include that. Um, you can, Meldrum Sasquatch Me Science goes into great detail about their Sasquatch prints and their foot structure. And, uh, oh, here's a quick pan. There's a juvie right there. Right behind that cedar, left side of that cedar, watching me do my casting. And I'll run that clip again. And there he is right there. I think I had a hint. You can see a shape um, on the right there on the left side of that those cedars. And one more time, I guess, for people who like to look at the Bigfoot footage. But anyway, um, this video is mostly about the weird print with a posed toe or a cripple foot and uh, I just wanted to put that out there because you don't come across as very much anyway uh, thanks for watching